Hello, this is Martin Brossman, and I want to demonstrate one screen capture app that works with Chrome that you may choose to use. I have put the link at the bottom of the video to come right to this. Screen capture apps are extremely useful for many reasons. Anything you see on the web and you go, you know, I want to remember exactly the way that's laid out and take a screen capture of it. Uh, it's also useful as social media managers, of course, to capture uh, when they're doing their 360 audit to capture what the presence on the web for the client is and many other uh, utilities of it. Most uh, computers have a built-in screen capture, but just in case you want to try something different, I'm going to demonstrate this one. And I'm in Chrome right now on a MacBook. So let you know this will also work on Chrome on a Chromebook, and it also works on uh, Chrome uh, on a PC. The one I've selected is Awesome Screenshots, and it works with Google Drive, compatible with my device. You always want to kind of read the reviews and see if it makes sense. It's got about 2,083 at this time reviews. There's some support here if you have questions, and it gives you a sense of what it is. So I'm going to go over here, right here, Add to Chrome, and click this, Add to Chrome, checking, and it says, hey, do you want to add this to your Chrome? It says it will read and change data on the website, capture content of your screen, and read your browser history. So it's kind of telling you what it does to decide if you want to use it. Now it's there, and it is in the upper right-hand corner, so I'm going to go ahead and look something up, Google, and I'll look up name something you should check fairly often and here we go now what if I want to get a screenshot of this to see how the layout is because Google's always testing and changing things uh, with this app I'll go over in the upper right hand corner see the upper right hand corner and I'll click it says awesome screenshot capture annotate so I'll click that and then do I want to capture visible part of the page selected area the entire page and so forth. So you have several options, play with all of them, and it shows you the shortcut. So in this program, Control, which would be Command on the Mac, Shift S will create. I'm going to click Selected Area. Now in a screenshot from that point, it generally gives you some crosshairs, and you'll drag and drop the area you want to see. There we go. And I'll say Capture. And now it's captured it. It shows it to me. I can annotate it, comment on it, add text, crop, anything else. And when I click Done, it will let me save it to Google if I want, or save it locally and download it, or print it, whichever I'd like to do. So I'm going to go ahead and just locally download it. So there, I've now saved it on my desktop. I'm going to bring it up. So I'm going to go over to Finder, which is just like your file management on the desktop. Double click on it to bring it up. And here you can see this is a screenshot of that page we were just looking at. It's that simple. Obviously, you want to organize this into folders and other area and document it. So if you want to come back to it, you can find it easy. But this is a very useful tool, and I recommend getting accustomed to using some type of screen capture program that you like to keep track of what you see on the web and how things change. This is Martin Brossman. Look forward to hearing your comments below, and have a great day.